Hey everybody, it's Melissa. I've decided to do an update video on this four millimeter heavy link. It's solid 22 karat gold. I've had it for over a year and four months. And I know I could have waited until a year and a half, but I mean, why wait? I used to do monthly update videos on this piece so y'all could see it, but I mean, I'm kind of doing it a little bit more sporadically now, but you get the picture, you know? So I'm just wearing it around my neck right now before I show you what it looks like up close and before I just put it on the scale so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like and the sort of presence that it would have as a solitaire chain. This one is 17 inches and initially it was an 18 inch chain and then I shortened it to 16 because I really wanted that choker look. And the reason I went just a little bit over 17 inches, and by the way, I did this with a local jeweler that I know. The reason I wanted that is because I was thinking it would look pretty sweet with a pendant that I had in mind, but the pendant didn't really weigh down the chain as much. And the chain definitely still took more of the attention than the pendant. So I just didn't really like the way it looked, but I feel like for me, a 17 inch chain with a pendant is really such a nice look. I just unfortunately don't have that set up at the moment, but I'm absolutely loving this just by itself. I think that the heavy link at four millimeters is a stunning piece. I know a lot of people like the 3.2, the 2.7s, and if you're somebody that wants a heavier chain, and on top of that, you definitely like the the sparkly shiny aspect of things the heavy link is great and it's also a unique sort of design i hardly see this design in person i never have seen it in yellow gold if anything i've only seen people wearing silver versions of it and typically they're like you know the chunkier hermes links because these type of chains have been getting more popular but i for the most part see them more online than I have ever in person. And again, even online, it's only been the silver ones. So I've yet to encounter someone wearing uh, a yellow gold heavy link also, but it's just, it's so pretty. Sometimes um, I'll, I'll see videos of myself wearing this and I'm like, dang, this piece is so nice. Why would I even want to take it off and change it for something else? But you know, sometimes you want to wear something with a pendant. It's all about what you're feeling, but for me, I really like the idea of having a signature chain, you know, just something that you never take off your neck. And with all of the, the pieces that I have, I leave them on when I'm showering. I leave them on when I'm sleeping in the pools, beaches, jacuzzis. It's almost, you know, summer coming up. We're in spring right now. And luckily for me, I live in warm weather. So I always just kind of like having that piece of gold without having to worry about it fading or tarnishing or turning my neck green or any of those things that would come with wearing a fake jewelry piece not that there's anything wrong with that because i feel like we should all you know get get what's in your budget and i say that but y'all this this actually i won in a giveaway so i i still agree though that you get what's what's in your budget all right so let me just man this this piece is so nice this is so nice I'll show you what it looks like up close and I have not gotten this chain cleaned, to be honest. So I haven't even inspected it in a way where I would like, you know, see if there's any micro scratches. And I'm sure there are on this, like it, in this video, I'm sure if I watch it back, I'll probably see some scratches with it. And I think that probably has to do with the times that I would try to uh, two chain with my heavy link and, uh, or even the times that I would throw a pendant on it However, I really don't think that it's that big of a deal. I'm not someone that every night I'm going to look at my chain in detail and go, oh my gosh, there's a scratch here. I need to buff that out. Like I just, I enjoy wearing it. And that's kind of the main thing that I get from it. And I love the 22 karat, by the way. I feel like a lot of people, when it comes to 22 karat, at least here in the United States, it's definitely not common. In a lot of Asian communities, high purity like 22 23, 24 is commonly worn, but here a lot of people associate that really rich yellow gold color as a plated piece or a fake piece. But to me, when I still see plated pieces in person, they don't look like 22 karat. They look like, like they're trying to emulate it, but there's always this sort of like weird brownish look to it, especially like the more worn that it is. Um, but to me, it's very easy to kind of distinct what is 
a fake gold chain versus the 22 karat. So of course you wear what you like, wear what suits your skin tone. Let me just throw this on the scale right now. Okay, it's saying 43.6 grams. I'm gonna do it one more time. Yeah, 43.6 grams, pretty decent. I don't really find it to be that heavy. Honestly, I know there's a lot of people out there that are wearing things over 200 grams, over 100 grams on the daily. Um, but for me, something like 43, it's it really isn't that bad. I feel like when you take it off your neck, you you start you feel like oh okay that was probably your heavier than that was probably heavier than I thought. Um, but when it's on my neck, I just it's cool. It just it it does its thing, and I honestly sometimes forget that I'm wearing it until I pass by a mirror, and I'm like, damn, that thing is so nice. So I have the stamping right here. Let me show you, in case you didn't see it earlier. It's the 22 karat here, and then it's the Jacoji. I don't think it's the logo. I think it's actually the brand name right there. But this is an Italian chain. I really hope that this camera is focusing. But you should see Italy stamped on the back right there. And if you look closely inside the clasp, the camera might not be able to pick it up, but it says 916, which stands for 91.6% gold purity, which is 22 karat gold. So I'm gonna throw this thing back on and tell you more things that I like about it and if I had to find any cons about it. So the one con would be, before I throw it on, sometimes my hair, it, it wouldn't get caught in the chain, but it would kind of get caught, not, not really actually, in the, the clasp, but that's pretty, yeah, that's that's not really the fault of the chain. And on top of that, that's happened maybe a few times, but it's never something like the rope chain where it would pull at my hair and I have to just patiently try to get it out the link. So just trying to think of some other negatives right now with this piece and it's it's hard to think about it. I think some of the pros are the fact that by itself, I think it's beautiful. Whether you wear it with or without a pendant, it's, it's a good standalone sort of piece. And it, it complements a pendant if you were to wear it because it's more of a rounded design where the pendant wouldn't really get caught on one of the links. It would just kind of flow pretty seamlessly as it would on a rope chain or on a Franco or a box chain, if, if that's something that you really like. So good for pendants, good, for, good as a solo piece. Also, it stays outside your shirt because of the weight of this chain. Because I have in uh, I have an 18 inch Cuban that's also 22 karat. It's around 3.2 millimeters, so it's thinner than this one here. But when I'm wearing it without a pendant, even though it's technically longer than this chain because it's lighter, sometimes it'll like still hop back in my shirt, especially if I'm laying to the side um, and I'm just like watching something, and then I sit back up again. Half of the chain is like in my shirt, the other half is outside. So I have to kind of just reset it on my chest. But with the heavy link, I mean, sometimes it, it would probably look like that if I, you know, woke up from a nap or when I was like sleeping in the morning and I just have to kind of pop it like that. But for the most part throughout the day, if I were to leave it outside of my shirt, it stays outside of my shirt. It doesn't auto tuck itself back in. But keep in mind, a lot of that also has to do with how low your uh, the collar on your t-shirt is. Of course, if it's higher, then it's gonna stay out more, but if it's lower, then there might be that tendency for it to kind of just sneak back in there as well. Any other things about the heavy link? I think I talked about the shine factor earlier, but seriously, when I'm out underneath the sun, when I'm whenever I'm at the beach or something like that, it just it looks so good. It looks so nice. And it's definitely gonna be a piece that if you were to buy it, whenever you pass by a mirror or a car window, if you know you're going on a run or a jog or a walk, and like, if you kind of look at yourself, you'd be like, damn, that thing is clean. Like, it's so, it's so nice. And I know that the heavy link, a lot of people consider it more of a masculine chain. I can, I could totally see that. Um, but I really feel like, I mean, I've, I've seen women, like very feminine women also wear like an even chunkier version of this again in, in silver and it still looks really nice. So, um, 
I, like I've always said, online opinions are online opinions. Wear what you like, wear what makes you happy. There's gonna be a lot of people in these communities that will say, oh, if, if you're a guy, you shouldn't wear anything under four millimeters. Like you look silly, you look like a woman or something like that, or like they try to insult in that way. Or if you're a woman, you're wearing something like that. You're, you know, you're trying to be this, blah, blah, blah. A lot of sad people are on the internet um, that are leaving negativity like that. So just be happy with it and be happy with the purity that you get as well. I'm very happy with, you know, the 22 karat, um, but I would never like shame somebody for wearing like a 10 karat or a 14 karat piece, especially on the internet. If it makes you happy, wear it and, and love it. And another thing, just another positive note with this is, I mean, gold prices are basically at an all-time high right now so it's 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 not a bad thing to have some gold with you um, whether you want to wear it as jewelry whether you want to have it as an investment but this piece right here I really don't think it would be something people would regret it, it's it's not the type of thing that when you get it in the mail you kind of had that you have the shoulder shrug of like oh, man it's, it's it's smaller than I thought it's lighter than I thought I personally like this one more than the rope chain. And I know the rope chain is probably the most popular chain that I see, at least here where I live. Um, almost everybody that's wearing jewelry has a rope chain, but I just hate that it pulls at hair. Like if you have long hair or if you have a beard or chest hair, it'll literally tug on that. And it's the most annoying thing ever. And it could be painful, you know? So for all of you still looking for that, 3D pop in a chain and just it, it is going to be heavier than the rope um, but the presence is something that is just, it's so pretty it really is just so pretty all right but there it is just like a quick update on it still loving the piece again it's, it's a daily wear type of chain for me so this thing in, in a way definitely has taken a beating it's been in all sorts of situations with me whether it's been super hot or really cold outside it's been in you know pools and chlorine and whenever people hear that they're like you should never ever wear your gold chain and chlorine like you don't know how to take care of it blah 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 and they'll try to rag on me but i've heard about that stuff when it comes to the lower purity like 10 karat 14 karat some people they'll wear their chains or their bracelets in the jacuzzi and then they'll come out and they're like how come it looks a little bit different but that's really not an issue with with high purity at least that i've experienced whether it's been in the salty beach water in lakes in in jacuzzis in the shower with some soap it's it's fine so you're good if you want to get 22 karat and wear it to anything you want to it'll it'll be fine i know a lot of people like to kind of keep it as a keepsake of oh i'll just wear it on special occasions but you could totally do that or you could also leave, you could also just have it take a beating like with whatever you want to do and you'll come to realize that okay yeah this thing this thing is definitely a lot more durable than at least the the western world wants to make you believe when it comes to high purity so keep that in mind let me know what you guys think of your like what your favorite pieces are if you guys daily wear anything in the comment section below and i'll probably give more more updates on some of the other chains that y'all are curious about all right so i hope you have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.